lots of hair. What an amazing story there, Kasia. Now let's return to our top story now, the apparent thawing in relations between North and South Korea, with Pyongyang hosting K-pop stars in the presence of Kim Jong-un. Is this a sign of togetherness? Can we see it as that? Or is it simply a tactic by the North ahead of talks with Donald Trump? Now, joining me to answer this question and talk about this in, in greater detail is Young Rock. He used to lead international projects for the North North Korea Strategy Center, a body that aims to promote what it describes as a free and open North Korea. Thank you so much, Young, for joining us today. I just want to get a sense from you about how significant this visit is. Um, hi, thank you for having me. Um, I think the event itself is symbolizes the uh, mending of many different incidents that have happened in the past. Um, it definitely opens up many gateways for future interactions. Um, Kim Jong-un himself had said, let's do another one in Seoul um, in, the, over the, in the spring, uh, not spring, sorry, autumn. Um, but like we all know, situations related to North Korea and South Korea and the Korean Peninsula can change from you know, anything to something peaceful to it's very violent. So we'll have to do, well, we'll have to watch and see how significant this event actually is. You know, on that point about the fact that it's just such a volatile relationship between the two sides, and as you point out, Kim Jong-un himself is a very volatile man. How does it feel as a young person, you know, who's grown up in the peninsula, watching this kind of tension at a juncture such as this? Does it give you some hope? Um, personally, as someone who's been involved and been enthusiastic about the sort of sector um, and the topic, I think I definitely pay attention to it and it makes me nervous at times, hopeful at times, uh, hopeful during situations or events like the concerts. Um, the general feeling I'm getting, though, is uh, one of maybe apathy amongst the uh, public. It's because we've been exposed to it for such a long time. I guess there there must be a sense uh, of, of just how difficult this is a problem to solve. Just very briefly, Young, uh, give me a sense of what the concert's like, some of the bands there. Um, the concert, so they say K-pop, but they're um, artists from the 70s, uh, who were famous in the 70s, sorry, uh, to those who were famous in the 80s, 90s, till current K-pop idols. Next? Uh, were sent, and I think that was just to show the North Korean audience a more diverse range of Korean music, South Korean music, sorry. Thanks very much, Young Rock, there, for joining us from Seoul.